Good afternoon everybody, this is Mel Carroco again and I received a crazy request from Mr. Sayil Zayed. He asked me to create a video about floodlights aiming and its area coverage. I don't know what he wants and why does he wants to know it. But anyways, okay, so it's all about floodlights. I think he wants to experiment something about their floodlights. I also asked him uh, what brand should I use in uh, doing this simulation of floodlights. And he said about either Philips or Thorn. Okay, fine. I already have the <laughs> floodlights avail available from Thorn. So I'm just going to use the floodlights from Thorn then. Yeah, so I'm just going to use this Altis and um, Area Flood. So this Altis is good for sports lighting and area flood is good for area lighting. So it's symmetric and this one is symmetric. And if you want to check the brochure of this Altis, you will find this link here. And say you look at this one. I think this one is very important. So this is one of uh, the, the data that you can find in the Thorn brochure floodlights. So you can see here, this is the symmetrical floodlight, good for sports lighting. They have the narrow beam, so it's 11 degree, the medium beam, which is 20 degrees, and the wide beam, which is 30 degrees. And you can see here in this elliptical lighting distribution, how it looks. You can see this 55 degrees wide or 12 degrees um, narrow, like this one. Okay, and if it's asymmetrical, usually it's mounted like this one like zero degrees or 90 degrees here and then there are no direct upward light because it's aiming downward only you will see later on how it looks when you when we when we try the 40 degrees and 60 degrees asymmetric floodlight okay so because we want to see it visually i created this nice wall and uh, ground here i think this is 20 by 60 ground and 20 by 60 wall and I also put one man here to see the, the proportion of our uh, floodlight simulation. Okay, so right now I have this narrow beam. You can see it's very narrow. This is the 11 degree uh, um, symmetrical floodlight from Thorn. And when I aim it, just right click and rotate. This is how it looks when you aim. Look at that, the floodlights and to the wall. So you're either doing sports lighting, so like football field, or you're doing facade lighting. So this is how it looks. It's like a round optic. So it's very narrow. And you can see I added a grid so you can see how many grids it covers on the wall and also on the ground. Okay. I usually use this one for a golf course. If I'm working on a T ground, T area is very, very, very small area. So I use narrow beam with a lower, lower uh, wattage or lower lumen output because it only covers a very small area. So I'm not wasting li uh, lights on the surrounding. I'm just putting lights on the perfect location or correct or precise location. Okay, so when we're go going to change it into, say, for example, medium beam, so replace, let's replace this one with the medium beam now. Okay, so let's replace it with medium beam and the medium beam is looking like, oh, this is the medium beam. Okay, apply. And no, I will say no. And there you go. Now it's medium beam and the medium beam says it is um, 20 degrees. So let's go and see how it looks in the actual or in the simulation. So it's, yeah, a little wider now, if you can see the difference. Okay, you cannot see the, maybe I can place it side by side so you can see it really. Okay, let's go and put our narrow beam here. So this one is narrow beam and this one is medium beam. Oh, look at this one. I don't think there is. Ah, okay. Yeah, I hope that you can see the difference now. You seems to be, it doesn't have so much difference, but there is actually. You can see those yellow, a little yellow that, or around here, that is the focus light. So, uh, the, the one that you see similar to the medium beam is the spill light, almost a spill light. The yellow one, okay, let's go to that false color. Oh, okay, I need to render it. Let's render it. 
Okay, so let's go and render. See, there you go. You can see now the difference. The narrow beam is very intense point of light, while the medium beam is not so much. Okay, so that's how you can see the difference. You might think this is just the same. No, it's not. In actual, when you run a calculation, the values, the number values will tell you that's so much difference between the two. So go and rotate on the ground. It's like that. Yeah, there you go. And let's try the, um, there you go. This is now the wide beam. You can see the wide beam is a little blurry compared to this one. It's very focused, the narrow one. Medium beam is just not so blurry, but this one is blurry almost now on the ground. It's It doesn't have so much focus like the narrow beam with an intense one. Okay, let's aim it to the wall as well. So let's rotate. There you go. And let's run a calculation and check the false color. There you go. And now you can see the difference. So you might think in the visualization in rendering that it doesn't have so much difference. But yeah, right now you can see now the full effect of the differences of the two. So this one is the narrow beam and this one is the medium beam and this one is the wide beam. And if you check it in the false color, look at that. Now this is the effect. Okay, Sail, so I don't know what what why are you trying to experiment and show this one but yeah if you're aiming for something like a facade lighting or sports lighting go and check this brochure of thorn and you will learn a lot about this uh, type of floodlights and how you will play it in your design okay and now let's try our asymmetric beam like area lighting usually used in parking area or a, a regular uh, sports field that doesn't have a wide area like tennis court basketball court or small football field so let's go and try the asymmetric beam now okay so let's go on the other side because i created also this uh, floor on the other side so these are the asymmetric beam there you go and let's try to render it um okay so this is a note if you are working on a facade lighting do not use a symmetric beam okay maybe you can use it but usually uh the, the idea of using a symmetric beam is to point it downward and uh, not to spill light that's why it's like the optic is like that it's it's pointing downward. The, the optic is just pointing downward. So if you use it in facade lighting, I am not sure if it's going to be okay or correct. Okay, so this is how the um, asymmetric beam look like. Okay, so let's go and visualize, go to the visualization. So if I click this one, uh, okay, so I think we need to render it. So let's go and calculate. Okay, so let's go and check in the false color so you will appreciate it more. All right, so this is now your 60 degrees and this is your 40 degrees. So you can now imagine easily if your area is wide, part, like a wide ground, like wide parking, use the 60 degrees. While if your parking is narrow and going to the front, then use the 40 degrees because it's more narrow, way, narrow going to the front compared to the 60 degrees is a wider going to the side. Okay, so yeah, I think just go and check in dialogues and play with the light. You can aim it actually, like what I'm doing right now. Just rotate and aim like this. So you can see the difference. Actually, if you are expert in sports lighting, you can easily guess uh, the type of the optic that you need to use for a specific area because you're already familiar with the optics and your product. Okay, so say if your objective is really to see how it looks or the effect of it or what are the functions of using those optics, the different optics, optics then um, this is how it goes. Play with it, just experiment and see how it looks. If, when you're doing nothing, just do something crazy like this one. Okay, so if you have any more question or request, just don't ask stupid requests. Okay, just let me know and maybe I will accommodate your question. 
All right, so see you again on the next video. Yep, and of course, don't forget to subscribe and enroll in my, in my Udemy courses. All right, I'll see you again on the next video.